An Air Force serviceman who fought for this day in the shadows has also finally come forward. And reporter John Ferruja, our friend from Denver station KMGH, introduces the mysterious man determined to bring change. He has been a man in the shadows, an Air Force lieutenant known only as J.D. Smith, who became a warrior in the fight to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He created an underground network on Facebook known as OutServe, a safe place for thousands of gay military members around the globe to connect. Some were risking their lives in war zones while carrying a secret that could end their careers. It's constant fear and, and not knowing, you know, was I going to be able to stay in the Air Force if, if this was discovered. Through it all, he could only speak in silhouette until today. My name is Josh Seafried. I'm a first lieutenant in the United States Air Force. And now that this 25-year-old Air Force officer can go public, he's telling of the terrible burdens of don't ask, don't tell. I knew cadets that were assaulted at the Air Force Academy and, and couldn't report any type of those crimes at all. Sexually assaulted? Yeah. Air Force Academy cadets who were gay, who were sexually assaulted, and they couldn't report the crime? Correct. Because they'd get kicked out? Yeah, absolutely. And while Josh's secret network was growing, the Pentagon was looking at what would happen if Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed. For the first time, gay active duty service members, some in harm's way, could speak to the leadership about their private lives. Josh Seafried and OutServe provided the cover. The input we got through OutServe um, about the experiences of gay and lesbian service members was absolutely a critical part of the report and the conclusions that we came to. Will it make a difference to you coming to a place like this now that you can say who you are. Serving under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, you feel like you're no, maybe not part of the military team, but now that's not the case anymore. So now, Josh Seafried believes he can finally live up to the ideals that first inspired him to serve his country. I get to be truthful about everything. I, I get to restore the integrity I once thought I had. John Ferruja for ABC News, Denver.